Hi, my name is Oktai. Uh, welcome to today's video about the uh, first planet solar system, planet Mercury. This is a nice uh, picture from the Messenger spacecraft. Uh, you can see here this crater, that's a Rachmaninoff crater. And the craters are named after artists. Here in the south, um, that's the Debussy crater. And Mercury has a size of 4880 kilometers. Its distance from the Sun uh, varies between 0.31 to 0.47 AU. So 1 AU is Earth's Sun distance of 150 million kilometers. Uh, the surface temperature is uh, between uh, minus 180 degrees Celsius to plus 430 degrees Celsius. Uh, on average, um, Mercury is the second hottest planet in the solar system. And because of the very thin atmosphere, there is no um, heat transport from the sunny side to the uh, night side. This is a picture of uh, early evening in the city Prague. You can see in the sky, this is Venus. And this tiny dot here, and that's the planet Mercury. Um, for 46% of the time, um, the planet Mercury is the closest planet to Earth. This is a comparison of the four um, inner terrestrial planets, uh, Mercury, uh, Venus, Earth and Mars. Uh, you can see Venus almost the same size at, uh, as Earth, um, a bit uh, lighter than Earth. And Mercury is um, the smallest of these four planets, with a diameter of 4880 kilometers. And it has about uh, just about half the mass of uh, Mars is just 5.5% of Earth's mass. This is a picture of the planet Mercury uh, transiting the Sun. Uh, this is a, a rare event. It happens uh, on average uh, just every seven years. And the reason is uh, Mercury's orbit is inclined by seven degrees to Earth's orbit. Uh, that's why this um, event is very rare. This is a nice uh, false color image of the planet Mercury and its heavily cratered surface. Uh, there's a bright region in the north, it's called Caloris Planitia. This is it, bright region. The uh, rotation period of Mercury is 59 days and the orbital period 88 days. Mercury has a magnetic field, but it has just 1% of the strength of Earth's magnetic field. This is a picture of the interaction of the magnetic field of planet Mercury with the solar wind, with the charged particles of the solar wind. Um, that's the same phenomenon as with the magnetic field of Earth. Uh, you get a bow shock. Uh, the side facing to the sun is uh, compressed and the other side is uh, stretched. This is a picture of the Hokusai crater. Uh, which was named after the Japanese artist Atsushika Hokusai. It's an impact crater with a size of 100 kilometers. It was discovered in the year 1991. And it has 1,000 kilometer bright rays, which come from excavated uh, material. There's another crater, that's the Valmiki crater, which is named after the Indian poet. This crater. In the middle, it's an impact crater with a size of 210 kilometers. This is a picture of the southern hemisphere of Mercury looking to the northeast, and you can see the heavily cratered surface. This is another picture from the southern hemisphere of Mercury. Now you can see the craters uh, Matisse, Essing, Raducci, Opli. This is another crater of Mercury, that's the Picasso crater, named after Pablo Picasso, here. Uh, its size is 133 kilometers. It has an arc-shaped pit on the eastern side, this is it. Um, which is in the crater's floor, and um, this could be from collapse of uh, volcanic material. This could be a 
a cave that has collapsed and, and that has given the structure. This is the crater Mozart, named after Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Here. Uh, its size is 241 kilometers, and there are dark hills in the center of the crater's uh, floor. And there are 110 uh, peak ring uh, basins in uh, Mercury. This is the Beethoven crater, named after Ludwig van Beethoven. It is a huge crater, 630 kilometers in diameter. It contains the Bello crater, with a size of 129 kilometers. And in this, at the southern rim, uh, the Syed Nova crater, with a size of 146 kilometers. Uh, you can see this crater has no uh, multi rings, and the crater wall is partially buried by ejected material. And this is the Rembrandt crater, uh, named after the Dutch painter, it has a size of 716 kilometers, and it has a young impact uh, basin. It's the second largest crater, and the inner parts are filled with uh, volcanic material. This is the largest impact crater of Mercury, uh, Caloris Planitia, with a size of 1,550 kilometers. It is uh, surrounded by Caloris Montes, which is a two-kilometer high ring of uh, mountains. And in in the crater, there are lava plains, um, just like uh, the Marias of uh, Moon, or Maria of Moon, and the uh, material was ejected for 1,000 kilometers. This is the internal structure of Mercury. You can see um, crust, mantle, and the core is uh, large. And that's why Mercury has a high density of 5.4 grams per cubic centimeter. That's almost the same as Earth. And it could be that uh, Mercury, was, Mercury was bigger in the past, and it has lost a bit of uh, its uh, crust through impacts. This is a picture of the orbit and the spin of the planet Mercury. There's a 3 to 2 spin orbit resonance. So in 176 days, uh, Mercury completes uh, two orbits and three rotations. And another thing is, uh, Mercury has a quite high eccentricity with 0 0.21. And um, this planet is a weak point of the solar system. And there is a 1 to 2 percent probability of ejection of uh, Mercury by pushes from uh, Jupiter uh, in 3 to 4 billion years. Uh, then Mercury could uh, either fly out of the solar system, or crash into another planet, or crash into Sun. This is a picture of the North Pole region of Mercury. Its axial tilt is uh, practically zero degrees. Uh, that's why the, uh, the deep craters in the North Pole are in eternal darkness, and there is a uh, deposits of water ice in this uh, craters. These are uh, some false color images of, from the spacecraft messenger of planet Mercury. This is the artist's concept of uh, how a terraformed Mercury could look like. And it could very well be that um, in the past Mercury had uh, looked uh, very different than today, because it takes quite a while uh, for a planet to lose its atmosphere to the solar wind. And the uh, young sun had just a luminosity of uh, 0 0.7 of today, or so 70% so of today's luminosity. This is the artist trend of the spacecraft Pipi Colombo. Uh, it is a um, cooperation of the uh, European Space Agency, ESA, and the uh, Japanese Space Agency. It is named after Giuseppe Beppi Colombo. He was an Italian scientist and mathematician. And Beppe Colombo was launched in 2018 and it will arrive on, at Mercury in 2025. And then we will learn uh, new things about this uh, fascinating planet. And this is nice art from uh, Katsushika Hokusai. It's called the Great Wave of Kagawa. Uh, you can see the Great Wave 
uh, three ships uh, facing this wave. And in the background, you can see the um, mountain Mount Fuji. And that was today's video about the planet Mercury. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.